Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. This one's going to be a little difficult in that we've decided to take a four skull mission. Now, this is kind of a, a mission that's being tied in with my Pirate Lance episode that will be coming up alongside this one. Now, what basically is going to happen here is we're about to attack a convoy. The local government here um, at Lotharian has basically said to us that there is a... Um, an old Lothian um, commander who has sort of left his position in the military and has set up government here. Um, he's working with one of the uh, local cities on this planet and he's, they're setting up their own government. Now he, what he's done is he sent a lance of mechs, pretty heavy mechs from what we understand, to escort this convoy coming back because apparently they've captured some old Star League technology. Now the local government on this planet, the main government, um, does not want this to happen. So we've got two things going on. First of all, we need to intercept this convoy and destroy it, hopefully, de hopefully destroying all the guards in the same process. Um, the Whatever is that the old Star League um, piece of equipment that these guys have picked up, the local government has promised it to us. So we're hoping it's something that we can use for our ship, but I'm not really sure what that is yet. Now, on the other hand, the leader himself is holed up in a um, area just outside the main town waiting for this convoy to arrive. So we're going to send our pirate lance down to assassinate him. And that's that contract's being fulfilled for um, the uh, Lothian military. They don't want this guy around, but they can't send their own troops in to go and get him. So what they're going to do is they're going to, they hired us to basically get rid of him. So that's what we're going to do at the same time this is going on. So we're going to ambush this convoy. Once he hears the convoy is being amb ambushed, he's going to get hit by our other lance and we're going to take him out. So here's the convoy ambush mission. And let's see what, how we can get this done here. So we're going to reserve our turn here just to see if they've got any vehicles moving. Doesn't appear to be. Holding for tactical so now it looks like they might have medium vehicles and probably heavy vehicles. Yeah, it looks like they're moving. So this is going to be a really, really tough battle. We're really going to have to focus fire here. Up, so let's start with the person up front here, uh, Vein Skater. We're going to move him first, Copy that. just so we don't have to run around him. Hello, new okay, so we've got a vehicle and an unknown mech. So Height's going to move in next. Actually, I think we'll move in Flatliner next, because he's got the better Wait tactics order. here. So we're going to move him up. Hopefully we can see what these guys are. I'm interested in the weights here. Now we've got really good salvage from this, this job. 70 ton, 95 ton vehicle. Okay. Vehicles don't scare me that much. If, as long as we can Come all on. get shots on them, um, we're probably going to be okay. Quick we can all fire on, focus fire and take them out in one shot. So this guy is what, a 70 tonner again? Yeah, so well, let's hope that that guy is a, um, let's hope he's a Warhammer, one of the older ones, because we really de definitely need uh, an extra Warhammer part. So there's only two vehicles here that we see. Let me click done. So now it's our turn once again. So this time we're gonna reserve, then we're gonna move height. So I'm thinking what I might try and do not really sure how fast this convoy is going to be. So I think I'm probably going to bypass these guys for now because the, I'm assuming the assault is going to be pretty slow and the 7th time will be pretty slow. If we can sneak past them this way and attack the convoy and destroy it really quickly, we'll then have the option to pull out because I think our extraction point is here. We'll have the option to pull out if, this, if their protection lance is a little too tough. So we're going to grab height real quick. Order, move along here. If we can end our turn in the mineral field, we'll do that. Okay, cool. So, yeah, once again, we're all Lift mediums, sir. so How's it going? we're going to be going before them and in the mineral field if we can. So this can be a curse or a blessing going before them. Uh, let's move ground zero first, because I think he's a little faster. Going to end in the woods here. And then we'll move flatliner up, see if we can get any more contacts. Looks like we have some more. Okay, so we've got 
60 ton vehicle, 60 ton vehicle, 55 ton mech, and an 80 ton vehicle. Okay, not so bad. Now I'm just worried that we they may end up getting reinforcements, in which case it could be a bad day for us. But I'm thinking as long as we're off to the right here on the map, I think we'll be okay. So what's this vehicle here? Do we check that one? That's another, so it's 160, 360 ton vehicles. So I think all their, all their vehicles are going to be, the convoy vehicles will probably be all around 60 tons or so. So they're not really doing anything here. Standing by. So can we get an eye on anybody here? We can. The question is though, is do I want to expose myself to potential attack from the mech and the vehicle? And I think I will. I'm going to be pointing straight at the Understood. at this guy up here. Going to get eyes on heavy TBM carrier. Okay, three TBMs, and I think wherever we hit this guy, he's going to die. So all we have to do is hit with one. So I'm just going to fire one. Actually, can we target this guy down here? I don't think we can. This is a Mark II Goss. Three Goss rifles. Yikes. Okay. Well, we're going to fire one PPC. I don't want to overheat just yet. So we'll just fire one. One hit should do it. Nice. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay, so our vehicle down there, we can soften him up with some missiles. Standing we by. could, but we're not going to. Um, we can't actually get eyes on him. The 55 ton mech, not that worried about it right now. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, um, the vehicles are moving really slow here. We're going to reserve just to see what they do here. So the 70 tonner is coming around. It is a Warhammer. Nice. So we need to maximize our salvage off of this guy. So it is the older, older typical Warhammer. So he's the guy we want to max salvage off of. So I'm going to bring... Um, let's sprint him up here. Can we get eyes on this guy direct fire? We can from close up. Don't really want to be that close to him though. Skipper. Actually, you know what? Height's got the most armor. Let's bring him in here. Our target is within sensor range. Yeah, I know they're within sensor range. So we've got 60... 60, 60, and an unknown. Most likely another 60. So we're going to fire on... We're going to leave one medium laser off. Since it's not going to be a good chance to hit anyway. We're not going to use the offensive push yet. We've got more missiles on Flatliner. So we're just going to fire everything, soften them up a little bit. And if we get good salvage off this Warhammer. I might just break my rules and take one piece of Warhammer. Just for this particular instance. It's been so long trying to get heavy mechs that um, I think we might just do it. Receiving take the piece. A little bit of cheating on my part, but at this point I think it's probably oh. justified. 30 some odd um, episodes in and we still haven't got a heavy mech yet. So, Alright, let's fire everything on him. Once again, we're just softening them up. Kind of looks like a shark head on them. It's not quite the right Warhammer, but, you know, good enough. Shoot! A couple of racks, probably. I'm receiving you. As long as we've got maximum, uh, maximum movement, maximum sprinting. Okay, so we're going to bring Flatliner in. Got enough for an offensive push. We're going to use it on the Warhammer. Going to go for a headshot, and we'll leave off the ER small, but we'll fire everything else. Just want to see where we stand here with this guy, with this pilot. Probably has four health. Still not, unable to know here. The Cobra strikes. Okay, that's fine. So we are going to need to get up on these vehicles. Looks like they're moving at a good clip. Okay couple of thunderbolts. 60 tonner. Okay, so this Goss vehicle's got to die. Okay, three misses. We can't have him continuing into the next turn. So if I double hit his side, he's got 102. LRN's coming in. Yeah, good luck hitting the Wolverine. So 102 on the side. 212, 212, and 119. So let's get ground zero to soften this guy up. We might just be able to pepper him with missiles afterwards. Um, actually, let's move height. Well, we're going to reserve, I guess. 
I'm gonna move height first, I think, and get him in. So we can both move in. I'm taking a bit of a risk here. I don't necessarily want to move in where the vehicles can see us. 55 ton mech with all those missiles. Probably a trebuchet. Or a Katyushka, sorry. So let's get height to there move in. We're going to zoom into here. We want to get into where those vehicles can't see us. But these other guys can't shoot us from behind. And that will free up space for um, Ground Zero to move in. So let's do this. Uh, the ATM's got a very low chance to hit there. But if we get one side hit and then a PPC hits, we can take this guy out. So we're going to multi-target. Uh, we don't have multi-target with him. Let's go this route then. Yes. Okay, so as long as we get one side hit on this guy, I'm sure we did. Yeah, we got a couple side hits. Okay, good. So we're going to move ground zero up. We're going to uh, sprint up here. We're going to get ourselves into the mineral field because we are going to be exposed if we want to shoot that vehicle. So let's put ourselves in the mineral field. Maybe not too close. Well, maybe we need to be a bit more eva evasive. So let's move into here, I'd say. Aye, aye. And we're going to need to fire both of our PPCs on him. So we got a Poe Light Gauss Rifle. And we've got... Yeah, see, those are rotary AC-2s. And that's a lot of armor. So we're going to put both of our PPCs into the side of this guy. Hopefully one hits the side. There we go. Okay. Three Gauss Rifles we don't need to worry about. Uh, Vane Skater's going to move forward. Uh, we're going to just move... Just going to walk it up, I think. And this guy's got... Not too bad. We've got a heavy Gauss Rifle here, so we could do a lot of damage, but it does damage fall off, fall off over distance. So I'm thinking maybe... 32% chance. That's pretty damn low. 42 on this guy. Should we go after the vehicles, or should we go after... Can we hit the Warhammer? We can't actually hit the Warhammer from here. So we're going to fire on the vehicle. Uh, we'll leave off the ER medium at 35% chance to hit, just to minimize our heat. And we'll fire everything here. Yeah. I don't know. This Gauss rifle is beginning to frustrate me. Need more ballistic targeting, I think, for sure. Get some more TTSs in here. So let's get... Um, can we get anywhere where we can see... A good shot on this, um... Yeah, let's move in here. We're gonna fire straight on the Warhammer. He is a bit unstable. We got enough, enough for enough, another offensive push, so let's go after his head again. And fire everything. Okay, we got his torso. Okay, he's got a lot of health. This just in. Critical hit. Okay, so we're gonna need to, um... Kill him, I think. Just straight out kill him. Alright, so we need to start now rotating to the right. Here comes those rotaries. Damn. That's a lot of damage. Reporting. Heavy damage. Yeah, and I can see that. Thunderbolt 20 carrier. That's not good either. Please miss, please miss. Thank you. And this guy's going to come into melee, and he won't hit. Yeah. Good luck with that, buddy. So this is a Katyushka over here. Okay. I think then... I have to decide who we're going to do get to do what here. And I think it's really going to be height and ground zero going after the convoy. Yes, Commander. So if we sprint... To where? So let's just pause here for a second. So this guy's got no armor, pretty much. Two thunderbolts, and this guy is a behemoth. LRMs, ACs. Mm, not bad armor, but he's in a position where he can start shooting now. So we have to start thinking about keeping out of his line of sight for now. So if we sprint. Hmm. What's our targeting to there? 80%. Pretty darn good. Yeah, let's go there. 
And we'll take a shot at that behemoth. So next turn we'll be here able to start targeting these guys. So let's see if we can get lucky on this guy. If not, we'll definitely be softening him up. Okay, two hits. Here comes the Cat Yushka. Make himself a little more unstable. Alright. That's alright. Okay, so we're going to walk it back. And what do we got on this guy? That's not the guy we were looking for. It's this guy here. So can we actually hit him from anywhere back here? Hmm. Hmm, we can't there. Where was that? It's in here. Then let's do this. Need something, Chief? Gonna walk. I'm actually gonna sprint Vein Skater up right beside the uh, you want fast? Warhammer. Give you fast. Then we're gonna multi-target. We're gonna um, fire on this guy with the Goss and uh, this guy with everything else. Engaging multiple targets. Nice. Hmm. Too many misses. I'm not really, in, I'm not really liking the uh, the layout of that hunchback. Okay, we're just gonna walk it up, and we're gonna multi-target. We're gonna add um, A, B, and C. So C is gonna be the lasers, and then A and B are each gonna get a full missile rack. So I'm hoping we penetrate the side of this guy and destroy him. Oh, pretty close. And this guy's taking 110 already. Eh, I'll soften him up a little bit. Okay, so now Height can finish off this uh, attack here. We're going to sprint and we're going to move to... We can only fire at one target, so let's just move here, behind him. Let's do that. Double time, let's go! And then we're going to unload in the back of this Warhammer. Uh, we'll leave that medium laser off. Don't really need to fire it. Okay, left torso gone. He should be unstable and he should fall. Engine destroyed. He's down. Game over. So I am going to select one of those pieces as salvage. Since we're doing the... Uh, Lothian League a huge favor here. Okay, so those guys aren't... Oh, that guy's going to fire. I thought maybe he wasn't going to fire there for a second. Hmm. Good shooting, buddy. Behemoth. A little bit of sparks flying off of him. Stop it. Okay, so what we're planning on doing is we're going to use the Wolverine to get behind the um, Katyushka. We're going to use the Butcher to get up here and hopefully take out this vehicle. Since we are behind. Uh, what do we got here? 127, 85 in the back. So let's... We move into the forest. Let's do this. Rotary AC2s. He's taking a ton of damage on the side, but we'll be going before him with our other guys too. We almost got this guy. Uh, I'm going to unload both of them on this guy. If we hit the same location, he's gone. Nope. Make sure we spread that damage around, boys. You know, the LRM's at close range, just not doing it. Just not doing it, guy. He's overheating. Okay, so, this guy took one in the turret. So, we're, we're going to do, I think, Flatliner. Um, 
Let's just move back here. We've taken a bit of damage. And then we're going to do multi-target. We're going to fire on this guy and this guy. I know it didn't work out last time, but I'm thinking it probably will this time. Just need a few hits in the right location. There we go. And if we can take both these guys out, that'll give us some breathing room. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here comes the reinforcements. Okay, so they're probably, yeah, they're coming from this way here. So we need to make short work of these guys before the reinforcements get here. So, uh, Vane Skater, we're going to walk you up. We're going to get you in the forest here. Get rid of that stability problem. Uh, you've taken a good good chunks of damage, but we're going to fire everything on this guy, with the exception of the ER. Nice. So he's gone. And now I don't have to worry about Report. height, because he's going to move around behind this guy and turn towards him. Affirmative, Commander. And we're going to unload into his back. Now we can leave a medium laser off, fire everything else. Chance for a knockdown? Nope. That's fine, I'll be able to knock him down next turn. I can split fire on the Thunderbolt carrier. It's been damaged already, has almost no armor. So we'll be able to kill this guy and possibly knock the Katyushka down next turn. Then we can set up for the reinforcements coming in. So possibility of a Katyushka or a Trebuchet or or Stalker or Catapult, maybe, possibly. So the vehicle's got like no armor, one hit and he's gone. Who's this? Who's shutting down? Somebody shut down. Okay. Somebody was multi-targeting. Wow. That means we got some possibilities for some really good salvage. Okay, I'm just going to walk over here. There's no point in running. Maximize our chance to hit. Multi-target, one here and one here. We are going to overheat, but we are going to take the chance. Going to fire both. So we can get the knockdown on this guy. Pushes him back, which means we all go before he does. Yeah, Open so it'll be okay, line. even if I shut down. Damage. Okay. So we want to finish up that Enemy. guy. So let's get Vane Skater on that problem first. Okay, move him about, let's move him over here. There's no point in moving very far. We're going to cool... Actually, you know what? Forget cooling down. We're going to have plenty of turns. We're going to kill this guy right out. Okay. Scored a critical hit. Now the rest of us don't use need to use up any ammo. So yep. we're going to get height back here. And turn slightly like this. Copy that, Commander. Fire on this guy, leave the ATMs off, and we'll use all three lasers going for the CT. I'm on that should probably do it. There we go. Okay, now let's get this, let's get these uh, reinforcements here. And Flatliner, just going to brace here. Bracing for impact. So he's starting up. So we got two heavies coming in. 65 and a 75. So chance for a catapult and a stalker? Maybe? Orders. Now we need Don't to find a good mind. kill Let's zone go. here. They're going to come up on this ridge up here. So I'm thinking... Hmm, let me think about this for a minute here. Ending turn. And we're just going to reserve right back to turn zero. See if they crest. Uh, we should be able to move forward and get first shot on. Let's reserve again. There's another mech, 60 tonner. Here comes the 65er. I guess that's a catapult. Okay, so the 75 tonners decided to move forward. Now, this is going to be a straight up engagement, so we need to figure out how we want to do this. So, height, Confirmed. you're first. Let's get you in here. Let's get direct line of sight on this guy. Copy that, Commander. So we've got, what do we got here? Basilisk. 
two LRM20 triple pluses, two LP PCs, lots of armor. Okay. And just a regular catapult. So we're going to fire on the Basilisk. We need to really target this guy, get him down, leave off the one medium laser. Uh, I think we'll leave off all the medium lasers, just fire the ATMs for now. He's tagged. So next turn we're going to move away. Um, Vein Skater, let's sprint up where we can see the guy. Actually, we can see the other catapults back from here. Not sure why he turned away. That's a really low chance to hit, but I think... Hmm. Better chance to hit here. We've got 11 rounds left with the Gauss Rifle. A chance to do 150 in the back of this guy, though. Like, if we hit him CT back, he's dead. I think it's worth trying. Nope. We go before them anyway, so I'm not that worried. Okay, so we're going to move out once again. Once again, we're worth the dilemma. Do we shoot into the back of this catapult? with the chance that he's actually not going to be uh, turning his back to us anytime soon, or do we could take the good chance to hit here? And I think it's the Basilisk. I think we're going to go after the Basilisk. Actually, you know what? I've got two PPCs as well that could take this guy out. Let's go this route. We might be able to take this catapult out before the battle even starts. Okay, we've got a lot of exposure now in the back. So ground zero goes first. Gonna walk it over here. No point running, like I said. Let's walk it over. We got two PPCs. Straighten this guy's back. Yeah, figures. Okay, torso hit. Good. That's a hit. And then we can go with flatliner again. Don't think we really need to move because I don't think this this. Uh, um, Basilisk is going to be able to see us, and we will unload with everything on his back. Shooting the moon with the laser, apparently. Okay, he's unsteady. Then we're going to get height. And we're going to sprint up here. I want to see if I can get that Basilisk to fire on height here. And we're going to shoot straight on the Basilisk. We're going to forget the... Uh, the uh, catapult for now. I want to make this Basilisk pissed off at height. And Vein Skater, we want to move back a little bit. Make sure we can still hit this guy, though. We can. We want to move back a little bit, only because um, we don't want the Basilisk to see these guys back here. So we're going to fire everything. No, we can't. Sorry. On rear armor. Nice. Next One dead catapult. What you've got. Target eliminated. Okay, perfect. So this guy's jumping. Yeah, good move. That was a good move. Splash damage, we'll just absorb that. Basilisk still has tons of armor. Splitting fire, though. Not, not really a wise decision, especially when you're only backed up by one other mech. You really need to focus down somebody. This is a quick draw. Now we do have quick draw parts. Going after the Wolverine, that's fine. My old mama can hit harder than that. She can, I know your mama. Commander. Okay, so we're going to move back here. On it. And we're going to open up on this guy again, the Basilisk. I'm going to go for a side shot. Um, could go for offensive push and try for a headshot on this guy. Walk Not in. bad chances to hit. I know we're really just kind of playing around with him at this point, but we probably shouldn't. Actually, we've got, since he's unstable now, let's move down with height. Um, once again, let's go for a side shot instead. We're going to shoot this guy in the side. We're going to put uh, as much as we can into it, I think. Let's see if we can knock this guy over. Nope, but Flatliner sure as heck can. And we're going to move him, I think, to a point. Let's sprint it. Can we get up on the hill in the trees here? Somewhere where we can fire? Yeah, right here. I want to get a little defense on him. He's taking a fair bit of damage now. 
We've got some uh, critical areas down to 32 here. Don't like it when I get that low, but... Okay. We should be able to knock him down with this. Yeah, there you go. He's going to fall over. Some heavy damage. Then we're going to do something crazy and just try for another headshot. Okay, he's 3 or 4. It'd be nice to get Basilisk parts. I mean, there, it's pretty rare to actually encounter Basilisks, that I find anyway. I haven't really encountered that many of them. But if we can get as much salvage from this guy as we can. So we're going to go for a headshot. We're going to fire with these. Three misses. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, they're going to go first. It's going nice, to It's gonna be nice having the Warhammer. We're going to replace the... Uh, whew, that was nothing. We're going to replace our um, Butcher with that. Okay, let's see what this guy does. Jumping. Going to try for some back shots probably. No. It's okay, you'd be mad at me all you want, buddy. You shoot me as much as you want. It's go time. Okay, so let's start off with a bit of instability. So we're going to reserve. And we're going to move height to a point over here, I think. We have to sprint him, I guess. Back here. I'm going to shoot him in the back. Gonna leave the medium lasers off. Oh, we're really overheated here, eh? Um, will the tag make a difference? Not enough. Leave the ATM-9 off, and we'll just fire the 12. Missed with the tag, but we're still connected. Okay, so he's still unsteady now. So let's start off with Flatliner again. We're going to move back. Got it, Commander. Get stable again, and we'll fire everything on this guy. Three lasers hits. Here comes all the missiles. He's going to fall over. Boom. Bye-bye. So we might get some salvage off that, maybe one of the LRMs. Alright, so we can still see that guy. I, although I don't think he can see us, so I'm not going to move. I'm just going to fire straight out here on this guy. And we're going to do an offensive push. We got the the uh, morale, so let's just do it. Okay, main scanner is going to fire as well, but something weird just happened. I just My recording software just decided to stop recording. I got like... 200 gigs left in, of space, but I have no idea why I decided to stop. Anyway, we're going to fire everything on this guy. We've got enough uh, heat for that. I, I, don't, I have no idea what he was shooting at there. Alright, let's see what he does. He's backing up, eh? I think uh, Height's probably the only one he can see. But good luck hitting him from there. Okay. Let's finish this up. Goodbye, buddy. For an alpha strike. Oh! How, you know... Yeah, let's shoot his arms. That's a really Reporting. great idea. Alright, here comes some missiles. Let's see if we can finish him up with this. Should do it. He did move, so... Boom. Alright, we're out of here. Alright, we got the, we got the uh, piece that we came for. I'm hoping that the Pirate Lands did just as well. We've been out of contact for this whole time. Um, hopefully they're able to take out and assassinate their leader. It would be great if they did, and then we can get paid and get out of here. Alright, successful mission. I'll meet you back up on the Argo. Alright, so we made 167000 out of this. They didn't pay us all that much, but they did give us a whole ton of salvage, plus the... Uh, uh, piece of starting equipment. Now, Hunchback did take a right arm hit. Uh, not a big deal. It doesn't really have that much there other than like a medium pulse laser. So, he's uh, pretty good. And the rest of the group, well, we did really, really well. We hung on there. Uh, we took a bit of damage in some of the spots, but we were, overall we did pretty good on a four skull mission. So, let's go next. And what we're going to do is we are going to take that Warhammer part. It says zero, but we've got, I know we do have seven pieces of different pieces of Warhammer. So, this is the only time I've ever taken mech salvage, and I'm doing it just to further the uh, the um, series along. So we're going to take that, and then we will find a few other things here that we can possibly use. Now the Warhammer, I'm not sure the hard points on the other Warhammers that I have, so I'm not going to bother taking the Gauss rifles. 100% crit though is kind of nice. AC2 rotaries, 
12 tons though, it's like, I can't justify that. LRM 20, plus one accuracy, plus one damage, plus one evasion ignore. I think I'll drop that in because that's a nice piece of hardware for mechs that we're going to have later on. SRM 4 with plus four damage. We got lots of SRM 6s with plus two damage and stability. TBM 15s, TBM 20s. These things weigh what, 12 tons for 80 damage. See that's, well AC 20 ammo though. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now what else do we have down here? Um, case, cockpit TC. These are always really nice to have as well as XL gyros. I think we can utilize this. I think some of our uh, second lance doesn't have XL gyros. Oh, heat sink cooling pod. That's actually really good. What else do we have down here? Patchwork materials, endo steel we don't need. Ballistic we, we can buy these guys. So yeah, I think we've got what we got. Yeah, there it is. That's our line. We're going to have a Warhammer after this, which is excellent. So let's confirm. So we got one, two basilisk pieces, a, a catapult piece. I'm not sure how many total of different parts we have for catapults. Another Katyushka piece, the Warhammer piece, AT-10, AC-2 rotary, Gauss rifle, got the SRM-4, oh, TBM-20, nice, that's a bonus. Um, Endo steel, good. So we actually made out really, really well on this mission. Plus we got the uh, Star League era component that we need. And there it is, Warhammer 6K, one of the mainstays of the Heavy Max, solid, dependable, and heavy hitting. You bet, we're going to put a couple of ER Clan ER PPCs on that sucker. Alright, cool. 61,000 in mech repairs, so we, you know, that's about half of the money that we made, which isn't that bad. So, we're, that puts us at enough to actually survive for uh, the next month, which is great. So... We're going to quickly go to the mech bay because we can't not go to the mech bay now that we have a Warhammer. We're going to have a look at this sucker here. It doesn't look like there's a lot in there. Wow, look at the pieces missing here. Alright. Doesn't look like we got a lot left over on this guy. Let's just repair all here. So we didn't get any engines or anything in the center, but that's fine. We've got lots of stuff sitting in, in storage. Got a few other things that we can get. So we're just going to actually repair this guy. Uh, we're just going to confirm 16 days, which means he probably won't be in the next... Well, you know what? I think we'll make it so that he's actually in the next Rogue Tech, Rogue Tech battle. So we won't launch a next battle until this guy's out. So let's see what our hard points are. So we've got two laser hard points on either side. We've got a chance for a ballistic hard point here. Um, one missile, and then... Oh, so we got two ballistic hard points. Four more laser hard points, a missile hard point. So this guy's actually pretty pretty well laid out, I'm thinking. So if we make this guy a long range platform, we could add that auto cannon twenty or the uh, LRM twenty that we just got in here, and both ER PPCs, clan ER PPCs, uh, plus a ton of heat sinking, and you know not really that big of an engine, but we can pull out the double heat sink kit from the uh, butcher that we have and drop it in here, and that should help stabilize things a little more. But um, yeah, that's going to be fun for the next time. So we're gonna, just going to confirm this. Disconfirm. Alright, so the next episode will be a Pirate Lance ep episode. And I suggest you go check that out. We've got four mechs here. We're going to go behead the leader um, of this uh, organization trying to set up his own government. Um, looks like we've lost some cash here. So, but we're happy with that. We're going to make some money off this next attempt on this guy. Um, so, yeah, I suggest check out Pirate Lance. And until next time for Rogue Tech, we'll see you later.